Boomer. My name's Rose, and if you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're a new subscriber or a returning subscriber, I thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell down below so you get notified of all of my upcoming videos and live streams. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into this. I just got my Tati Blendifuls, and I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> I wasn't going to order this. I thought, oh, do I really need another tool, you know? But I kept seeing reviews, and the reviews uh, all were saying how you get an airbrushed look. And, you know, at my age, that's what I want. I want to look airbrushed, okay? So I thought, okay, it's 18 bucks plus shipping. I would go ahead and, 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 and do it. So I ordered from Tati Beauty, and I ordered two. So if we love it, you know, we can do a giveaway uh, with this one. You do get, I've been also noticing, like a lot of people are saying how bad they smell when you take them out of the packaging. So this little one isn't bad. So keep that. Oh, this one smells like, <clears throat> like a nail polish remover, paint thinner. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go wash this. She did say in her video that they dry very quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it and on a very low temperature on my hair dryer, I am going to wash this because it just smells, um, it smells toxic, like a paint thinner. So. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and that really didn't take long at all. I rinsed it in a little warm water and uh, baby shampoo. So it smells fresh now, um, and I feel much better about using it. So let's get right into it. She said that you could apply your primer with it, and so I, I wanna give this every chance to work, so I'm gonna break out the Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin Rich Face Base. This is what I use when I want to have my makeup look really, really great. So I, it's expensive, I don't use it every time. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna start on the back side and save the other side for, for my powders. So this is what, if you can see my cheeks already look like they are a little bit more vibrant. Um, that's what I like about this Bobbi Brown face base. It just kind of gets your face kind of looking juicy before you put the other stuff on top of it, all of the other products. Okay, so she said you could use it with concealer as well. So So we'll try this. Let's see. Let's see if we can get. We'll use this um, this little corner here. So it is applying nicely. I have to say. So I like to just kind of conceal those little red spots that I have. I'm not getting any shedding. Now, a few people said that their sponge shed. I'm not getting any shedding, and I don't know if that's because I washed it first. Okay, so now for the foundation. I am going to use my uh, what I always use, my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the color NW20. And then I take the cool shade of it in NC15. And sometimes I use that more in the like middle of my face. So, and then the warmer on the outside. So I'm going to just kind of dot this around my face. So we'll start with that. I have a little bit of product left and I'm just going to 
She said, take a swiping motion. So, so far, <clears throat> it seems to be working. It's placing the product under the eye pretty good. I don't feel like it's, you know, kind of caking up or anything. Now on the forehead, and I don't know if it's because the product sat there a little bit longer. It looks a, maybe just a little bit streakier, but let me, let me pat it in. You know, it's, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more foundation. See how it layers. I was a little bit worried that if you layered, then it would take off the foundation that you already put on. But I don't think it's doing that. So there is my foundation. It's looking good. Okay, so usually what I do next is I do my brows. Okay, I just filled in my brows and um, I filmed the beginning part of this video without my ring light on. So if I look a little bit different, that is why. But with the ring light, I can also see better in my mirror. And I think the foundation looks really, really good. Um, I'm not seeing any like stroke, you know, streaks or anything like that. Um, I have a little dryness up on the t my forehead here, um, but I don't feel like it's being accentuated at all. So overall with the Foundation application, I'm happy, but that's not the reason that I bought this. I bought it to see if I get an airbrushed look. <laughs> so let's keep going with this. So um, what we will do is we will go into our powder. And I really like the Patrick's Powder from MAC. I know it's not available anymore. So far, so good, you guys. It definitely lays the product down beautifully. And, you know, <clears throat> product is not settling into my fine lines, I know, you know, and my wrinkles, so that is good. So I do like that about this product. Now for the bronze, I'll use this Tarte Park Avenue palette. You know, if you were using like Hoola or Hoola Light that comes in the little box, I think you'd have a hard time getting product on this, but I'm gonna go use this and I, I usually use a combination of these two shades. So I'm just gonna dip and she says to kind of wrap it around your finger, so. Application is quick with this, I have to say. I'm impressed with how easy it is to work with. I think it looks pretty good. And now we'll use another corner and I'll dip into the blush and I'm gonna use my Scott Barnes palette and I'm just gonna use this kind of peachy color. It is called uh, Strike a Rose. It picks up the product nicely. I am tapping a little bit into my hand because I don't want too much. So what I'm doing with my blush is I'm tapping it in 
where I want the product. And then I'm going to take the little blender with nothing on it and just blend that into uh, the bronzer. You really can't tell from what I'm seeing in my mirror where one thing um, ends and the other begins. So I really like that. I think it gives a flawless a flawless blend. I'm very happy with it. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go in a, with this cheek topper um, in the color glowy, this one here. And we'll put that on and just pat it in. And again, I'm just gonna kind of blend it out with this really lightly in circular motions, just no pressure at all, just very faint. Okay, so I'm, I am liking this, you guys, I really am. Um, I, I'm liking the way that my face is looking. So let's keep going. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now is I will, do my eyes, do my lips, and then I want to see, like, do I still look airbrushed after I put my setting spray on? Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, and I just did a very minimal eye look, uh, just with a very uh, little bit of shadow in my crease and um, some lashes. And a red lip. I saw this look on my uh, Instagram page. I follow Lisa Eldridge. She's a makeup artist, and this was a look she did on an actress. I forget which one, but it was just released uh, on Tuesday today. Um, I don't even know the date, people. This is retired life. What day? One day runs into the next. So overall, I'm looking at my skin. I feel like my skin looks really good. Um, I feel like I have that airbrush look where there's no fine lines or, you know, lines of demarcation. Everything is blended uh, really nicely. But I thought, let's go ahead and spray this and see, you know, see how it looks after you uh, spray it. So here we go. A lot of times after I spray my face, Sometimes I go in again with um, like a little bit of highlighter. So let's try that. We'll use the Pop Lux highlighter. And let me find a little clean corner. And there's the product. Oh, okay, I'm liking this tool, you guys. It makes it so easy. Isn't this the prettiest highlighter? It's called, it's in the color Sex Life. And I don't know if he's bringing it back. Uh, Nady is bringing it back with his new collection or not. It is my very favorite because it's just like that little bit of a soft blushing pink. I think it's so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna be working on him to, to bring this one back if he's not. So that is my finished look. That is my review of the Tati Beauty Blendiful. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think you're going to get one or if you have one, whether or not you like it. If this changed your mind in any way, shape or form, let me know that too. I love hearing from you. I do my best to respond to every comment that I get left. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.